Hello beautiful, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a first impressions and I'm going to try a foundation today. I don't know which one though because I did purchase two new foundations. I mean they are new to me. This one is not new but is new to me as I said. I think I'm going to try the C shadow one because the claims are pretty interesting. It says self-refreshing. I don't even know what that means. So yeah, it says Synchro Sync Self Refreshing Foundation Oil Free SPF 30. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And if you guys want me to do a first impressions on this one, but I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of first impressions or reviews out there on this foundation. But if you guys want to hear my thoughts, just let me know and I will film a first impressions on this one as well. But today I'm going to try out the shade though. I got the shade 240 quartz and I really hope I nailed it because I bought them online. If you guys live in Europe, Primor, Primor is the place to shop your makeup because I don't know exactly how much I paid but it was like so affordable. I know this is like 50 euros or so. Oh my god, who would pay 50 euros for a foundation? Not me. I paid 31 euros and 50 cents for this one and then this one was 23 euros and 75 cents isn't that crazy this is like 40 euros around so insane so yeah if you guys live in Europe you should check Primor Primor this video is not sponsored I wish though if you guys want to see how this performs on my face if I like it, if I don't like it, just keep on watching. Oh my god, I'm so professional. So as I said, I got the shade 240 Quartz. It looks like it's a match, but I don't know. I'm going to read a little bit what it claims to do. I have some info here on the packaging. And it says, a shade of first in foundation that refreshes non-stop. What do you mean non-stop? Active force technology synchronizes with skin and resists heat what humidity and motion for a fresh natural finish that lasts all day 24 hour wear what is this um wow insane right flawless weightless comfort medium buildable coverage i saw tati did a review on this foundation as well and she loved it the coverage wasn't that nice Anyway, so I'm going to try it with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I love this primer so much. I have to repurchase this because I have a little bit left. But uh, if you guys have wrinkles, I don't really have large pores. But I do have uh, fine lines and wrinkles that I kind of want to hide. And most of foundations kind of sink in those lines and make them more visible if that makes sense makes them pop even more and i don't really like that there's like a few foundations i have in my collection that don't do that but i do use this primer all the time and it's pretty pretty good also i do have dry skin right now is a little bit i don't know normal it's almost summer and here in spain and um during the summertime, my skin gets a little bit more normal-ish, but during the rest of the year, it's pretty dry. So yeah, keep in mind that, as I said, I don't have large pores, but I do have fine lines and uh, wrinkles. And I want the foundation to not sink into those lines and make them appear even more. To, uh, no, I don't want that. I do have a clean sponge to apply this foundation. If you follow me, you know I don't like to apply foundations with a brush. I don't know, there's something about the brush and the liquids and no, I can't do that. I do use brushes to apply cream contours, but I don't know, for the foundation is like, no. I don't know. I, I don't like it. That's just personal preferences, but I don't like it. I do love the finish of a sponge so yeah and i don't know if you guys see my dark spots from the sun they are peeking through again uh and i haven't exposed my face under the sun but i don't know during the winter they are more toned down but right now they are kind of living and i really want a foundation and a concealer to hide that 
Also, I'm going to apply this on my forehead because I have a bunch of expression lines. And I do really want to get Botox. <sighs> but, I don't know, I don't dare. Also, it's kind of expensive and a bitch is poor. I don't know, I really want to freeze some lines on my forehead. <laughs> that makes me look even older. I know I get a lot of compliments that I look younger. I know that, I'm aware. I guess I have good genes. Thank you, mom and dad. But I hate those lines on my forehead. Also, the foundations gather in those lines and make them even more visible. I hate that about myself. But I guess we all have insecurities. So, yeah. Now you know mine. And you can't turn them against myself because I know my flaws. Wow, what a smart speech. Sometimes I feel smart like that, but then I remember, no. You're a stupid dumb bitch. Stupid ass bitch, motherfucker, oompa loompa, you know? <laughs> That's me. It says, apply liberally. Reducing the quantity of application will lower the level of sunscreen protection significantly. Avoid direct contact with eyes. So basically it says to pour half a bottle on my face. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it says to apply a generous amount. Okay, let's see. I tried to do something with my hair today, but <laughs> so messy. Anyway. Okay, I guess I'm going to start with three pumps because that's how much I usually use. So, one, two, three. Oh, wow. I really hope this will match me. So, it smells like, I don't know, wait a second. It smells like vanilla. What? So, I'm going to, wow. I really hope this is not too light for me. Looks cute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't want a foundation in my hair. And also, you see? Stupid ass bitch here. Okay, I feel like <laughs> it's enough. I still have a little bit left. So I'm going to use my sponge. It's nice and bouncy. I have my mirror here. If you see this, my sponge smells good too. I clean it with the Dove bar soap and that smells so good. I feel like I nailed it with the color. I'm proud. Mmm, it looks like it sits on top of my skin. Ah, let me apply it and then I will judge it. It feels a little bit dry. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of looks like it sits on top of my skin. No, please. You need to work for me because I paid 31 euros for you. And you need to work for me. I think I'm going to apply one more pump. Or maybe two because I still have to do the neck. Okay, so I just finished applying the foundation. Honestly, I'm not very impressed right now. It looks like it sits on top of my skin and I know there's like foundations that look better after a few hours of wearing and I really hope this foundation does that too. But for now I'm not that impressed and I did apply it all over my chest. That's very close and personal. Yeah, it doesn't look bad on camera. Oh my god. <sighs> it looks like I'm such a liar, right? What is that on my hair? Oh my god, this camera picks everything. Can you please not? <laughs> and also the formula feels a bit drying, but how do I explain you this? It's not drying on my face. Uh, when I was blending this with the sponge, it felt like it was drying and I didn't have enough time to blend this all over my face, but it's not the case. That's just the feeling because it feels dry, but it's not drying. Wow, I really don't know how to explain this. But the point is that it's not drying, but it feels drying. Can I be more stupid than this? Because I don't think so. Anyway, it feels good on my face, that's the point. I'm not a liar, I swear to God. In When I look in my mirror, it looks like the foundation. It sits on top of my skin. It looks pretty radiant, right? Like you can see the luminosity. It did gather into my fine lines as you can see. That's very normal to me, like all my foundations do that. But as I said, that's 
very normal you see that's why i want to get botox i'm going to continue with the rest of my makeup and i'm going to come back when i'm done and uh, also i just finished applying this at 4 30 or maybe 4 20 around that time so i get looks on my face I haven't done much I've been filming I feel like my face got a little bit oily what I never get oily uh, it did settle into my smile 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 lines <laughs> a little bit also the black dots are from my lashes don't mind that but yeah around the you see that? Uh -huh, that's gonna kill. So it did gather a little bit. Also on my forehead, it doesn't look that bad. Like on my cheeks, it looks kind of nice on my cheeks. But around the mouth, around the nose, and uh, on my forehead, it looks. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I have to try it maybe with a different primer. My nose got oily. I don't know if you guys can see that. I did apply a little bit of highlight. So I'm going to take a clean tissue and I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to press it. Look at that, you guys. That's oil. Where, where is it? Right here. I don't know if the camera picks that. But right here is a little bit of makeup and oil. You see that? You see that, right? Oh, yeah, you can see it now. That's natural oil from my nose. Alright guys, so it's um, 11 uh, and 7 minutes right now, p.m. See the time here. And uh, I am uh, ready to remove this makeup because uh, I need to go to bed. I'm going to zoom you guys to show you how it looks right now after... Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how many hours, but 6 maybe? I don't know, but it kind of looks the same like the last time i showed you i haven't seen any uh how is this called self-refreshing you know technology on my face i don't know <laughs> but i haven't seen any self-refreshing i don't know what's the deal with that claim because it looks the same to me so far is not that bad but I'm not really a fan because around the mouth and the nose area, it looks awkward. This is how it looks after 6 hours of wearing it, sitting in front of the studio, studio lights. I mean, yeah, there. I don't touch my face very often, just my nose sometimes, but the foundation is still on my face. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. I have to test this a little bit more as a first impressions. I'm not really impressed. As I said, I don't see the self-refreshing technology. I don't even know what's that. 
but the blending was nice the coverage is not that bad as it says you have to apply a generous amount of foundation not just to get more coverage but also for the SPF you know as I said it's blendable buildable it doesn't smell bad the coverage is very nice very buildable as I already said the test wear well is not that bad that either because after six hours it still looks nice well besides the nose area and the mouth area and probably that's just my face I don't know obviously I still have to play with this foundation but for the first impressions is not that bad it's a little bit expensive <laughs> I mean 30 euros please let me know you guys if you try this foundation if it works for you if you like it what's the self refreshing I want to know let me know down below all that juicy stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it's helpful if you want to decide to purchase this foundation or not so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already take care and I will see you in my next one Mwah.